So today is all about Transformational Tuesday, and we've got quite the show in store for you. We've got Tracy Birdswell, which she's coming in for her Sony Pictures, which is called Rogue Warrior Robot Fighter. And we're going to talk about all kinds of things about fitness, health, and wellness today. So how's well, it going? It's great. Yeah. Tuesday. Tuesdays in the house. I lost, I lost a pocket square on the way here. <laughs> <laughs> on the Vespa. <laughs> it's like the third pocket square I've lost. Oh, so okay. Rob comes down on his Vespa, so yeah. explain that a little more. Yeah, so I take my Vespa here to the studio every morning and I've lost three pocket squares in the world. I don't know why I continue to put them in the pocket. I can just put them in my... That's so how I see yeah. you cruising from Santa Fe yeah. to West Hollywood yeah. like this. So if you find a pocket square... Yeah, it belongs to me. There, there. Yeah. It's Rob's. Uh, Bring boy. it to the studio. Maybe he'll sign it. <laughs> so how was yesterday, you guys? We had our first day. We've had great feedback. Yeah, it's it was going amazing. really well. So how... I mean, I had like a total LA day yesterday. I want to hear about what... Did you? What did you guys do yesterday? Well, yesterday was the first episode ever of Good Morning La La Land, and it was like a dream come true. First of all, thank you to all of those who watched yesterday. Thank you to all of those who are tuning in this morning and who find us later and who keep coming back to the show. It was a dream day for me, you guys. Really, thank you so much for letting me be a part of this team. Mm. Afterwards, we stayed in the studio and, you know, just planning and executing and dreaming and then of course going to Craig's to celebrate a little happy hour was in store and Craig's is so LA. I have that not is been to so Craig's. LA. I have You've not, not been what? To Craig's, you, we're gonna take him and deversionize him <laughs> Craig's in West Hollywood. That's why like it's so yeah. LA, okay. <laughs> it, it's a legendary spot. Craig mm. obviously runs it. It's his namesake. He was the major D at Dantana's, which mm. is like this mm. iconic American Italian restaurant down the street and opened up this amazing place. He's also on the cover, you guys, ah! of Focus Magazine. All right. Yes. Uh -huh. If you haven't been there, certainly check it out. My favorite thing, obviously, was the pizza. I'm a pizza girl. Mm. Yeah. I eat pizza every day. So what did you do yesterday after the show? What I, I hung out with my family. Little oh. Zoe. Not the dog that we had on. <laughs> yeah, Zoe. Yeah. yeah, she loved our, the dog. Our so. new Moscow yeah. yesterday. Um, and Mia and my mom and sister. And then I had clients at the end of the day. That's pretty much cool. it. What about you? What did you do? I had... Uh, an audition, uh, uh -huh. which is not, I'm not an actress. Um, I actually have been doing improv over, I've been wanting to do improv yeah. for a long time, knowing that, you know, as I'm hosting shows, whenever I know that bringing the spirituality and the consciousness conversation, I'm like, okay, I gotta get lighter, I gotta have some fun with this whole thing. So I took one introduction course and then I found out you can do two things. So if you guys don't know what the Groundlings is, it's amazing, it's an iconic spot in Los Angeles. It's a comedy place where like Will Ferrell and yeah. like um, Jenna, Jenna McCartney, is that her name? Jen, Jenny McCarthy? Yeah, and uh, the gal from uh, Lisa Kidrow mm -hmm. from Fran, like yeah. so many iconic comedians. And so there's two kind of tracks. You can do just the regular classes or you can go in and actually audition to get into the oh, school, wow. yeah. the official school. Yeah. So I went over yesterday and I did that and I have, I have zero idea how I did it, honestly. <laughs> like yeah. zero oh, idea. <laughs> do you? I do. So I have your results from your audition. You do? And video. Do. And she's got video. No. Sure. <laughs> that would know? be great. How did you get the results? Yeah. I just did it. Yes. And they said they felt like 24, 48 hours. Yeah. But really? Really? Jessalyn is like <laughs> super spy. I That's am. really weird. Yeah, go, go, gadget. Now I need my glasses. Man. Here we go. So are you ready to know? Do you want to know? Well, I want to know and I want to become vulnerable because I'm okay. <laughs> like, I'm okay if I did. Like, I am expecting yeah. that I didn't pass, but I think it's good to become vulnerable. And mm -hmm. I think because I put this out here, like, I want to fail actually because yeah. I want to know what it takes, what they look for yeah. in an audition so that when I go take the regular classes, I can go, oh, that's what they're going to be looking for. So, yeah. um, so bring it on. Why wow. not? Okay. Drum roll, please. <laughs> your result from your Groundlings audition. Oh. Pass. What? What? No. It says. That's amazing. No. Eligible Congratulations. for the wow. basic course. There you go. Yeah. There you All go. Right. Congratulations wow. on passing your audition oh, wow. for the basic class at Groundling School. Your result is good for one year. If you wait more than one year, you're going to have to audition again. Okay. Are you nervous? Well, okay, that's really weird because we had to do skits. I did one skit. We had to make up skits like out make of the up your own. And we did one skit where I was a chef with another chef and I was like yeah. getting mad and then and then I decided I was in love with him anyway. <laughs> and, then, and then I had one skit where I was like with my husband and he gave me like a diamond ring for our anniversary and I gave him a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> so what? apparently it went yeah. really well. So yeah. there you go. It's really interesting. <laughs> 
community uh, in Los Angeles that's around improv. It's certainly a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And one thing I love the most about improv, and I'm no expert at it, but there's this mentality of yes and, right? Mm, Which totally. really speaks right? to the positivity and awakening yeah. that we're supporting here. Oh, that's great. I'm all about no but. Um, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, you guys, before we begin, I just want to say that I want to give a little shout out and a prayer, kind of a moment for the fires. Mm. There's like, I was driving to the studio and there's major, major smoke. And so I just want to give a shout out. We have, there's two fires going on. I don't know if, did you see the tweet also? Uh, I did and I heard about it on the radio. My heart and mind is with you guys. So yeah. Everybody needs to yeah. stay safe. So there's two fires. One's the Thomas fire, which is in Ventura, and that is 45 thousand acres have burned wow. and then we have another one which is uh, can't tell you the name of it it's right over the hill by Silmar and I think it's 2,500 acres and so um, I just want to give you know thoughts and uh, good vibes for everyone out there mm -hmm. and uh, please reach out any way we can help in any way you know I'm sure there's foundations that are helping with that so well and reach yeah. out to us directly at good morning la la land on facebook on instagram on twitter or on youtube if there's anything we can do to help contribute to your safety and the needs of the community we want to know about it right for Absolutely. sure so on that note um also last night mm. um I went to Chaconis. Mm, another, another. So I had like I had up since 4 a.m. Came in here. Wow. We did our first show. Went over to Groundlings audition. This is so yeah. LA. I went home. I go do it. I try and do a nap every afternoon, and mm -hmm. then I got up and I worked until eight, and then I met some friends over Chaconis. So have you? Have you been? Please tell me you've been to Chaconis. I am really <laughs> new to LA oh, wow. still. I know. I've, every time I've been to LA before I moved here, it was just business. Okay. So you know, we do the business dinners and stuff, but. Most of the time, no. Okay, well, okay. well he's in Santa Monica, so we'll give him that, okay? <laughs> what does that mean? So that means you have to come in here and tell us the hot spots. Oh, I can Santa tell you about Monica. Santa Monica a little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I do know, you know, Chaconis on it. Uh, so obviously. Monday night at Chaconis is called Friends with Benefits. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's what like, does that mean? It's literally yeah. like, well, I don't know if I should totally promote it, but some people huh. get 50% off if you've been in the house and kind of been, been around. In the house? Have you been around <laughs> like me? Been around. <laughs> that's, that's so important because I love the fact that they are supporting friends, they're totally. supporting regulars, they're supporting the community yeah. of Los Angeles. And Rob, I'm so glad that you are here now because we want mm. to show you LA. I'm sure there I'm so are in. so many recommendations yeah. that you could give Rob Absolutely. on where to go, especially if you're on the west side. I'm a Hollywood girl, mm -hmm. so if there's any west side must yeah. go to. He needs to know about it. I know, all of them. I mean, right? all of it, even if it's not West Side. Right. I know the traffic is a thing, but I just Vespa around and lose pocket squares, <laughs> and it's <laughs> fine. Yeah, exactly. So I have another question for you guys. So holidays, we've been talking about the holidays. Yeah. And what's so cool is I've been doing all this research. Like, what mm. goes on in LA? I don't even know. Like, I'm in my little bubble here. Yeah. But there's a place downtown. Have mm -hmm. you guys heard of it? It's like, it's on the top of some huge building, and you can do a little mm. slide that goes all around. The it's glass slide? It's terrifying. It, have you been it. on it? Have you done it? No, I'm oh. not into death-defying that. <laughs> 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 I mean, I might go there for dinner. Yeah. And on the top, there's a great new restaurant up there. Uh, it's been around for a couple of months. Uh, LPG 72. The chef mm. is fantastic. I don't want to slide after dinner. No, I, not I don't. That. No, yeah. maybe an espresso, maybe dessert. I'm not into the slide. But if you want to <laughs> yeah. go down there, <laughs> you let me know how that. I want. Of course, I want to do it. Hello. I mean, I'm an LA. Okay, right. I've got to do this. Oh, wow, slide. <laughs> LA really is on the leading edge in so many ways, right? I just think there's so many things we don't even know about. Yeah. So I'm excited to just dive into LA, dive into showcasing, and what we've been doing on, on Instagram. You can find us at Good Morning La La Land on Instagram. And I've been trying to post, beginning to post other things going on in Los Angeles. So if there's anything that you love, that you go do out in LA, and you want the rest of the world to know here in La La Land, you can DM me on, on, on La La Land, Good Morning La La Land. We can post it also. Fun things, fun, you know, there's just so much going on in this town, yeah. especially during the holidays. Yeah, lots of friends with benefits. <laughs> there's lots of getting around. That's on Friday. <laughs> so, what benefits? Friend, the celebrity love celebrity here, famously single, also promoting friends with benefits. That's right, exactly. <laughs> so, speaking the, of, we do have themes we talked about yesterday, but I just want to go over that again. Mm -hmm. So, Monday is all about motivation and inspiration. Tuesday, today is all about transformation, which is about health and wellness, which Tracy, I mean, gosh, first well, she, or you should check out this woman. She is so hot, it's ridiculous. And so we're gonna ask her all kinds of things about her tips around all that. 
Wednesday is all about wealth and the mindset and leadership skills. Thursday is about thought Thursday, which is Again, mindset and attitude. And Friday mm. is our this Back is to our friends and benefits. yeah we're talking about <laughs> dating and relationships yeah. and all that kind of stuff. So uh -huh. um, so we're gonna do some fun interviews on Friday. But what do you think? What do you think Friday is? What do you think? How are you gonna chime in on Friday? What do you think about dating and Jasmine's relationships? Jasmine's got a lot to say about that. Uh, well, yeah, huh? I may not be an expert, but I'm certainly trying to learn <laughs> from that and from the two of you. I could be more excited to hear your tips. I mean, obviously, he's a happiness guru, Oprah endorsed. How do you get endorsed by Oprah? <laughs> by the way, if you've read his bio, it's like Excellent. just coolly under there, Oprah endorsed. Yeah, he's like, this, so sweet, he's like this so silent, sweet. silent but deathly. Like, <laughs> he has all this wisdom, and he's like, he just sits there, and he's like, hmm. You know what it was? I was a kid who had like no friends and was extremely shy and introverted. So I just sat and observed people. Oh. Yeah, and it just continued with me through my and life. And his bracelets, yes. FYI, can you oh. get this? I mean, are you <laughs> kidding don't. me? It's got this like little gold, like. I have to try and keep I mean, up with you two. You know how exhausting that is? <laughs> it's a full-time job. I want to go back to you though, just yeah. saying, kid with no friends and I find yeah. that so hard to believe because yeah. your personality is magnetic yeah. and we talked about how people say you exude happiness mm. when did that change for you I just really love you just <laughs> um, you know I think it was like probably around college like, I remember going to college and thinking college is supposed to be like a blast when am I supposed to have like hangovers every day and like hooking up with people <laughs> it was like none of that where did you go to school I went to uh, Swarthmore College a small liberal arts school and it was like the place for um, the socially backward, but academically, you know, you know, the, the folks, the, those of us who did well academically, we went there. But it's interesting because I was the one who was the most socially backwards, really, you know, and everybody else seemed like they were okay. So that was disturbing to me at a deep level. <laughs> like, so I transferred to UVA for a little while, which is known mm -hmm. as a party school, but also extremely incredible school. And you learned how to socialize. I did. Yeah, let me tell you something. I got a lot better at socializing real quickly. <laughs> College will do that. Yeah. That came from yeah. a cocktail or three. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, totally. Liquid but courage. Liquid courage mm -hmm. helps. Yeah. I've never been good with alcohol, to be honest no. with you. Yeah, it doesn't, it's not, I'm not against it at all, but at the same time, it just, um, I don't know, it just, it's never really, I don't like hangovers. I don't like the anxiety yeah. the next day. Okay. Well, and it doesn't, I've, obviously always yeah. promote a healthy lifestyle right. like we're talking about. Aaron sent us a list of some amazing workouts here in mm -hmm. Los Angeles mm -hmm. on wellandgood.com. The 10 coolest workouts yeah. taking over LA mm. right now. Yeah, so on yeah. the next segment, in fact, we're gonna uh, take a break right now. So the next segment I'm super excited about, which is all about Transformational Tuesday. So we're gonna give you five tips of how to stay healthy during the holidays. We're gonna talk about some great trendy new places to work out because there are so many places around West Hollywood for sure. Yeah. And Santa Monica, yeah. there's like unlimited uh, natural yeah. places to go work out. So stay tuned as we're going to dive deep into Transformational Tuesday. Stay tuned. Hi everyone and welcome to Odiva TV and right now we're in the Focus TV studios in Hollywood. Happy Wednesday Empoweristas, it's Alex Worley. Hey guys, I'm Amy Paprat. And I'm Justin Walter. And this is What's Good, the show that's dedicated to positive, uplifting stories from all over the world. Hi, this is Alyssa Goodman Show. And I am Alyssa Goodman. You're watching Beige Bay TV, it's fitness expert and your Beige Bay, Edwina Chia. Hey, Dr. Aaron here, teaching universal law and spiritual truth. Hey everyone, it's Michelle Gillette with Focus TV, and this is the Spotlight Series. Hey LA, I'm Gwen Lane with the LA Girl. Hey everybody, Terry here, uh, host of the interview series, Success Beyond Beauty. Hi, I'm Fern Olivia, and welcome to Central Intelligence TV. Hi, I'm Janica, I'm here with Focus TV for my segment of Fearless Females. Welcome back to Good Morning La La Land. I'm so excited for this segment. We're talking about Transformational Tuesday, and we've got Tracy Birdzall with an S here today <laughs> on the next segment. We're gonna find out all about the tips and tricks of a hot woman like her and how she keeps it together during the holidays. But first, yes. let's talk about how do you keep it together for the holidays? How do I keep it together? I don't even try. I just let it, just let it happen. <laughs> just Whatever. let it unfold as it will. <laughs> don't even try it. It's the best way. Uh, no, that is absolutely right. <laughs> this one over here yesterday morning gets here and he's like, oh yeah, I got up at 3.45 this morning. Yeah. Oh, no. Not everyone's as genetically blessed as you two. Mm. But yeah, I do. Um, I like to, I get up early 
to work out before I do anything else. For me, that's just critical. It's like um, they've actually said, and you've probably heard this before, they've done studies and they found that working out is the equivalent of taking like an antidepressant for the day. Oh, Literally, right. it's right. just 30 minutes. It has that I, kind of a positive impact on your psychological and emotional well-being. So. I will say if I start my day working out, right. I do feel accomplished mm -hmm. because I feel like I've got something done for myself, sure. although that is very hard for me to do. Yeah, right? more caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> more caffeine. <laughs> yeah, lots of gangster rap help. So I do a podcast every morning. I know you guys know that, but mm -hmm. um, I'm going to try and begin to do it more in alignment with our topics for the second segment oh, of every day. So sure. I did one uh, this morning on five tips to staying healthy during the holidays. Yeah. And I was like, what would be the tips? What would I say? Because yeah. I'm not oh. a nutritionist and I'm not, I don't consider myself to be somebody who's like, uh, you know, anyone that's a total, <clears throat> I'm not, I'm not regimented, like mm -hmm. I'm not extreme. Yeah. But what I do know is I had bulimia from the time I was 17 to 20, wow. and I had to learn how to have a good relationship with mm -hmm. food. So I'm gonna talk about, let's talk about yeah. these a little bit, okay? So you can get your pen and paper out, or you can do whatever, but, so number one is get committed, mm. right? Huge. Yeah, it's huge without commitment. Right? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna break it down. What do you mean get committed? Meaning that, the holidays are coming up mm -hmm. and it's like okay i can like pretend and go i'm just going to kind of wing it yeah. you know and like hope that i don't like start overeating and get out of control yeah. or i can sit down before the holidays begin or obviously they've begun but and go you know what is it that i truly am committed to over these holidays do i want to have to go on that huge diet come the new year's and you know do that whole yeah. diet thing or do i really want to stay balance and not actually gain mm -hmm. weight too much during the holidays, yeah. right? I love that. You know, there's something I would say as well that's worked for me, and that is um, it's the, the reason commitment is so important is because of consistency. I think like consistency is king or queen. Mm -hmm. And in order for me to stay consistent, I have to enjoy it for one, I have to schedule it, and I have to set the bar low enough, <laughs> that right? Low enough that I'm almost embarrassed if I can't reach it. So sometimes oh, I think wow. people make, like they set the bar too high. Mm -hmm. But if you literally just say, I'm going to show up at the gym, maybe I'll just sit in the parking lot for 30 minutes. Maybe that's all your commitment is, but I'll do it every day. Seriously, seriously. I can see you in the parking lot. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good enough, yeah. I'm strong, yeah. I'm gosh darn it, people like that's me. That's right, exactly. <laughs> Drive to the gym, take a nap. But no, like seriously, if you just set the bar that low, once you get to the gym and you sit in the parking lot, there's no way you're not gonna go in. Well, it's certainly easier to stay committed if you've managed your expectations. Right. That's bottom line. Yes. Right? Yes, it's huge. Okay, so yeah. number two yeah. is educate yourself. Oh, yeah. Like, because I go, I can't believe how few people even know, like, how many calories do you need to maintain at your it's weight? True. How do you, whatever. So you can literally go on Google and put yeah. in what your weight is, what, how many calories you need per day, mm -hmm. how many, uh, Google, like, if you walk mm -hmm. for an hour, how many calories are you gonna burn at your thing, right? So yeah. how do you guys educate yourself on, like, staying fit? Um, I sit here and I listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> number one, like, what did she, what did she read today? Did you save me time and energy? What do you do? <laughs> well, for me, and just educating myself is being aware of what affects me and how it affects me, uh, whether it's certain mm -hmm. things I eat, the lack of sleep that I'm getting and just being self-aware, what works for me might not work for you. Totally, right? 100%. You know, or yeah. work for you. So for me, it's just really being in tune with you know, Completely. what's happening. And knowing that some people need have things within their body, they need to see their doctor, they need to know if there's thyroid issues, whatever. We're talking about you know if none of those things are going on. Just th There's so, something so powerful. So I read a study, so of course the study guy. <laughs> I read a study, really interesting though. And what they found was um, they took a group of maids and they had asked them basically, like, do you guys exercise? They had known in advance that, that maids didn't exercise. They told the maids, did you know that just your the house cleaning that you're doing every single day burns this amount of calories? They're like, wow, we didn't know that. They're like, that's actually a form of exercise, okay? Six weeks later, they checked back in, okay? The maids didn't do anything. They didn't add an additional exercise to their regular routine, and they actually began losing weight all of a oh, sudden wow. like that. Just so the they, education oh. piece is huge because it's part of mindfulness, the mindfulness, right? So if you're aware, the it does shift right the mindset. There. Nice. So it's good to remember that. I love that. Oh, okay, so number three is start your day with exercise, uh, right? I got Instead one. of saying exercise, because we know that as the day goes on, yeah. there's many. I mean, the holidays. There's like all of a sudden your girlfriend's like, "Hey, mm -hmm. let's go to the Grove." You're like, yeah. "Okay, I don't really need to go to work out." Shopping counts. <laughs> Burning calories and carrying <laughs> stuff. It's really interesting because you want to spend quality time with your friends and your family over the holidays, and that can include a walk, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's some of the most quality time I've spent with my girlfriends, just, just even walking to brunch instead of mm -hmm. driving and having mm -hmm. that quality time moving as opposed to just mm. sitting there eating and drinking, which sometimes is a little more fun, but 
It's certainly yeah. Walking meetings as well. Apparently, it really helps to um, increase creativity. Mm -hmm. Having walking meetings. With I people. love you that. Such a wealth of knowledge. Oh <laughs> Every now and then, little tidbits. We're gonna have to have some walking meetings on yeah, this show. That's right? cool. I That'd love cool. that. Right. Yeah. Okay. So number four is balance, which means like eat small, frequent meals mm -hmm. and don't have like extreme things. Like allow yourself to have some you know, treats and junk throughout either, you know, throughout the week or one kind of cheat oh, day yeah. or meal or whatever, right? What do you yeah, think about that? I love it. I love cheat, 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 <laughs> cheat. <laughs> all about cheating. No, no problem at all. But uh, I honestly, I do um, very strongly agree with that. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, what's, what works for me is, first of all, a cheat day on Sunday. Shouldn't be a cheat day, probably. Should be a cheat meal. But that's like big deal for me. But then every day, I'll eat something that I probably wouldn't eat otherwise, but I'll just eat in small little doses. Um, that and also I like to graze all day long. Like I'm oh, eating right. all day. Everything in moderation, yeah. including moderation. Ah, oh, right. deep Very thoughts nice. by Jazz. Right? <laughs> no, but I, one of my tricks for that is dark chocolate. Oh yeah. Oh. I love dark chocolate and I have it almost after every like, mm. meal. I'll have a little piece after lunch or a little piece after dinner and it really satisfies my sweet tooth because mm. I certainly have one. I love mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Nice. Water with lemon is very helpful too for sweet right? tooth, right? right? So I notice that sometimes I think I'm hungry mm -hmm. but I'm just thirsty. Thirsty. So true, yeah. so true. Kind of okay, right. so, and then finally is get support. Like get a companion or get a trainer. I know not everybody can afford a trainer, but I do it with my son. We literally mm. have challenges every month and we'll text and go, did you do your little you know, thing yeah. this, this month? You so. the best relationship with your son. <laughs> Accountability yeah. is huge. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, apparently if you write down your goals and share them publicly or with an account, like mm -hmm. account, uh, mm -hmm. Partner. So we're going to do that. Segment four, stay counting. tuned. I've got yes. some ideas of how we can all do it together as a community, mm -hmm. right? I love that. Yeah. So before we go in for that, I want to, I don't know if we're able to or not, um, Andy, but our producer has said that we're able to take a look back in the back studio right now. Chasey's back there and we just want to say hi. We're super excited for the next segment on her giving tips. Oh, there you are, Tracy. Hey. Oh my gosh, she's Hello. so beautiful in that dress. So gorgeous. Thank you. The eyes pop. Look at that. Teal. What, thank you. What's your tip, Tracy, on staying fit in the holiday season? Well, you know, I'm just listening to some of the things you guys are saying, and, and you can also train yourself not to have a sweet tooth. And, you know, so like as you cut things like that out, then you don't crave them anymore. You train your, your brain on what it wants. And so if you stop eating sweets, then having a burrito is a treat. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's dialing it back as to what your brain's telling you and what you're telling your brain. Hashtag fit wow. goals. Right. <laughs> She's like, be yeah. disciplined people. Hey, exactly. That's like, yeah. That's like Absolutely. what? I mean, I'm not gonna have cookies over the holidays. I know. No, I totally get it. Such mm. great advice, Tracy. So brilliant, brilliant woman. So, so excited to hear more about her tips and tricks because she's an, a bombshell, literally. And Aww. so we're gonna have that segment next, find all about all of her adventures, her personal stories. So just to finish up this segment, yes. what else? What else? I mean, we're Transformational mm. Tuesday. So yeah. any last thoughts about what you think about LA? Yeah. I mean, it's Santa Monica, right? Yes. What's the tip? Uh, commit to enjoying yourself. I think it's big, especially around the holidays. It's so easy to commit to just getting through it. <laughs> and I think that's like, well, that's so whack. Who knows? You're going to die tomorrow. You know? So, like, commit to enjoying the holidays. I think, you know, commit um, to things that you actually genuinely want to do, you know, and start to say no to things that you don't. I think it's simple. You can start really small. You know, what do you think, Tiffany? Well, for me personally, I, you know, I took a look oh, at yeah, this yeah, the website, the 10 yeah. coolest workouts taking over LA right now. Mm. And for me, it's committing to challenging myself to try something new. Mm. Uh, and especially when it comes to fitness, I'm really nervous about that. I get really hesitant about going to the gym or taking a new class. So I think for me, it's committing to challenging myself. And this is certainly an amazing list. I mean, Chrome Cycle looks amazing. Everybody looks amazing. P.S. Everybody looks amazing working out. Like just, <laughs> so just showing up there is like, oh my God, now I have to get ready to go. <laughs> but I think it, I really appreciate you sharing you know, these options in L.A. with me. That's, That's like good and show. well. It's good and well. They have a 10 like kind of new trendy places to go work out. There's so many places like Soul Cycle and Tantris and 
Equinox and you name it. I mean, it, the list is probably a thousand deep. So we're going to get into that on other days on transformation. But thanks for you know naming off a few of those for sure. So you guys, we're going to take it, our next break. And guess what? We get to go to the back of the studio right now. Um, super excited to hear all about this amazing woman's journey and stepping in from being a soap opera to being a hero. So stay tuned, you guys, um, as you find us in the back studio. And we're back. We're so excited because our third segment here at Good Morning La La Land is all about showcasing amazing LA-based people. And today we have Tracy Birdsall, who is an amazing, born and raised in Los Angeles, California, showcasing her new Sony Pictures film, which is Rogue Warrior Robot Fighter. It's a tongue twister, but a phenomenal. <laughs> so good. Amazing. Oh my gosh, yes. How are you, Tracy? Thank you, I'm doing great. Thank uh, you for having me. Beyond the movie looking amazing, you look yeah, amazing. right. Well, look at this room, you guys. I mean, it's kind of like I'm loving this. Yeah. The I light look. definitely helps us. <laughs> yes. Certainly, Find it's your a little light. early. No, but <laughs> one of the things that we love about you, Tracy, is your commitment to living a healthy lifestyle. Mm. You look fantastic, roll after roll, year after year, and you are just getting more beautiful mm. with age. Thank really. you. Absolutely. What age? Yeah, it's right. Ageless. Ageless. That's what right. is this thing That's you're talking right. about? Yeah. Ageless. So true. Without age. Absolutely. Um, so we want to hear about the film, first of all, because I know that you were an opera, uh, a soap opera, and you went all the way to like, now you're at like these huge pictures. Like how, in the, I mean, you've got to have a great consciousness, incredible consciousness to do what you've done. It's a progression. That's yeah. for sure. You know, and, and you constantly have your eye on where you want to go, and you're constantly aware of the people around you. And you just keep going, you know. So I went through TV and I went to film and then I had smaller roles in films and then bigger roles in films and then this, which is absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a film about artificial intelligence taking over the worlds. Mm. And my character Sienna kind of sets out in order to put an end to this. Find the one weapon that can fry an AI positronic network wow. on different worlds. And, but what's cool wait, is... Wait, 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 go back. What is that? The... What AI technology? positronic. Okay. Yeah. So explain it, a little bit more about that. It's it's just the only weapon that can that can take out the artificial intelligence. Oh. Okay. So um, and what's cool about this film now is yeah there's a ton of action in it, mm -hmm. but what I love about it is a human journey. Mm -hmm. So it has these huge emotional arcs in it and things and it kind of catches you off guard halfway through and I think that's where. When people start to take her journey, that's when you kind of really get them on board. Mm -hmm. You know, at the premiere, it was really fun because we had all the press up at the front, and we had a little guy sitting up next to him, and he's like, you had a couple of them crying. I'm like, oh, I love this. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, I think right now, in this time in history, is so important to have powerful women that mm -hmm. are not just, I mean, you're a deep, deep woman. You know, behind the scenes, we've had some deep conversations, mm -hmm. even in the small amount of time yeah. we've been able to chat. Like, you're a really deep, powerful woman and I really recognize that. Thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I think it kind of takes that in this industry though too because there's so much garbage as everybody knows there's a lot of garbage going on in the industry it's all coming out now but you do have to find your way through all of that mm -hmm. and um, I, I, it's kind of a current topic and I'll go off board for a minute but like Pamela Anderson coming out saying well why would you do that why would you just take somebody into that hotel with you well, that's always been my thing mm -hmm. so when I look at all these things out there and people do they get caught up in things and they get rejected and, and it's so much more than what you see it's so much more than just talent yeah. and um, but you do you have to be smart well, right? what would you say to young women that were in the business or just entering the business what would you want to you know even share with your younger version of yourself what would mm. you tell them oh gosh if my child self could see yeah, right? <laughs> I, I usually try to discourage people if they have anything else that they're super yeah. passionate about then I'm like do that because it's easier wow. and the other thing is is it's like most people that come into this industry they treat it like okay I have to go to my auditions okay I have to take a class it's not like that it's a full-time commitment yeah. you know you have to stay fit you have right. to say you know you have to have experiences you have to study people and you have to go to the best teachers and I always say if a teacher is complimenting you go to another class because wow. so yeah. much of LA is built upon people being oh that was great mm. and that's not what you want you want them to find your weaknesses you want them to to help you find your vulnerabilities, you want them to help break you down so that you can live those roles. Wow. Yeah. So I love that. Because if you're not living it, then you're acting. And who wants to watch somebody act? Well, talk right. about living those roles. I would love to show Rogue Warrior and your role as Sienna. Let's mm -hmm. cut to a clip of that right now. Okay. I am no one. I have no name, no identity. I am nothing. I spit upon those who created me. I will fight those who oppress me. I will fight alone to destroy the scourge. I will fight until I die. 
A new religion burns in my veins. All hail the gods of war. Wow, that's so exciting. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's like Terminator meets Star Trek with a badass superwoman right in the middle of it. So gangster. Kind of like, yeah, kind of like. Kind of like. Kind of like. I mean, for this role, you won Female Action Performer of the Year. I did, I did. Wow. What was that like for you? It was really exciting. I have to tell you, you know, when when you do stuff like this, the one thing I didn't take into consideration in doing a super high action movie where I did all my own stunts was that you have to do it you know, you think, oh, I can do this, and oh, I can do that, you know, but you have to do it 10, 15, mm-hmm. 20 times. So you're going hundreds of miles, or hundreds of feet up on these sand dunes and doing these whole choreographed routines, and it's like, okay, now we need the aerial. Okay, now we need the side shot. Okay, wow. and Reset. And you're, you're literally, like, trudging up the, the steep part of the sand dunes wow. out in Yuma, and, you know, you're going this deep with every step. And then you go through this whole thing, and one time I got in trouble, and the director's like, well, you fell down at the wrong space, and you're supposed to do this, and you're supposed to do that. He's very hard on me, which I love. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm like, no, I fell. I actually really <laughs> fell. I tried to save it. Yeah. No, by now. Okay, I so don't if know. you want to know, like, what is a day in the life for what you eat, how you exercise? Like, I know people, I'm dying to know. It's different mm. when you're filming than it is in between things. Mm-hmm. Because when you're filming, you're eating anything you can in order to fuel that engine. Right. Mm-hmm. I remember one night I ate my food, and then I ate the director's leftovers, and then I walked around the crew. I'm like, anybody have anything left? <laughs> Dude, I was like starving. No, and it's funny because when you are on set, it's mm. like, all of a sudden you need so much energy and you just eat yeah. everything. The crafty yeah. table is there. and Well, yeah. especially doing fitness stuff and you can't eat sugar, you know, because that'll burn you out. Mm-hmm. And you drink all the water that you can because you're out in the desert, but you never pee. I don't know if I can say that. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> because you're burning it all off. Wow. Yeah, so it's quite fascinating. So then when you're not on set, what does it look like? When I'm not on set, like if I'm not shooting, then I'm constantly either working out or studying for my next thing. I haven't had a break in like five years. Wow. So I'm always working on my next project because I work ridiculously. I put hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of I hours into that. preparation. I, I wish that's the one thing I wish women knew. Like if they understood mm-hmm. what it took. To, yeah, it to, takes that. I mean, it's like your entire world. Your, your entire, entire world. Lifestyle. Yeah, like I'm listening to you guys talk about all these restaurants. I'm like, oh, I want to try yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done anything fun in so long. Except for work, which I love. Right. You know, I wouldn't trade it for anything. That's work for us. Yeah. What you are, are more than welcome about? to come out with us. Oh my gosh, yes. I could use the night out. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. No, but you mentioned putting hundreds of hours into this. I mean, what are you doing? What are you doing in those hours to prepare? I try to be off book months in advance. Like, You'll see actors, they'll show up with their paper in their hand. I want to be off book months in advance because then I, I, I play it in the back of my mind as I'm living my daily life or working out or doing anything. And then when you're the character and you, and you put that costume on and you get those character traits because you always have to decide what are the character traits, you know, and how does that person move and how does that person move their expressions because they're all different. And then you just live it. Mm. And then when you're living it, you're, you know, if you have moments where you're exhausted and you have moments where you're hurt and you have, they're all real. Wow. And if you get hurt, which I did hundreds of right. times and bruises mm-hmm. everywhere, you take that with you. That's part of what the character has with them. And so it's, it's, it's real, right. you know, and that's why when you watch it, people are like, oh, that's so real. I just have this visual, I have this visual of Tracy, like, well, I don't know what your relationship said, <laughs> but I just see you just like in the bedroom, like this charging woman, because you're taking on this role, like, <laughs> right. rolling across the bed, like, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny you that, because how do you balance that with your personal life? Um, you basically don't have a personal life. <laughs> life is our personal life. Because it takes absolutely everything. And you know, I've been on these waves before where you get these great opportunities and they build upon each other. And if you get off that wave, yeah. then you're going to spend years building that wave again. Mm-hmm. So right. it's like, why would you ever get off that wave? Wow, right? that's powerful. Did you ever consider quitting? I did quit it? once, but it yeah. wasn't that I quit. I felt like I needed to retire. I've been working yeah. since I was 15. And I didn't like who I saw in the mirror. I was getting short-tempered, I was getting grumpy, and I'm like, you know what, I need to chill. So I moved down to San Diego, and like six years later, I'm like, I am doing nothing. Mm. Like the world is going wrong without me. You know, my friends were still working. You're supposed to age out in Hollywood, turns out you don't. Mm. And and so I came back and I, and everybody'd moved or died or something, and so everybody was different, and I really had to like climb my way back in. Um, just to give a local LA shout out, I, w- I started working with a coach called Margie Haber, mm. and she's Halle Berry's coach and lots of other really great actors' coaches, and she's the one who kind of helped me merge all my methods into just living that life. Mm. 
and that changed my life. Oh, really? really? Completely wow. changed my life. We have to get her info, put it up here. For she sure. is amazing. Amazing. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Integrative right. approach. Yeah, she just has a completely different way. And she was yeah. so hard on me, and I'm like, nobody's ever hard on me. <laughs> <laughs> you love that. You love when people give you a hard time. I do, I do. This director I'm working with now and on Rogue Warrior, he is so hard on me. Wow. Yeah, Interesting. But, but that's where real magic comes right? out, you know, so is when you're pushed to those extremes. Speaking yeah. of, you've done two a 200-day shoot on your new, yeah. on, on Time War, yeah. new on the movie time you're war. working on. So wow. what's that like? Tell us about that. It's crazy. Every day is a shoot. Every day is a plan of a shoot. Every day is preparing for the next thing. And tomorrow is our last day of shooting. So, Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, thank you for being here. Before that, are you yeah. shooting today too? I'm way off book, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so is, are, are we talking to Tracy right now, or are there elements of your character? Yeah, we want to know that. Okay, I'll give you guys a, a, a treat. I'll give you a little spoiler here, and that is that since it's time travel, my character, there's about 26 versions of my character. I think it's 26. 26 versions. Wow. Yeah, because they're, they're picking the different versions through time in order to help fight this battle against Adolf Hitler trying to rewrite his genetics and overtake humanity. So, wait, um, wait, 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 just say so it one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Adolf Hitler going back through time redoing his genetic coding. Mm -hmm. yeah. wow. Okay, I'm he has a messiah complex. I'm gonna go ah. just yeah, that it's yeah. dark, it's twisted, it's exciting. Oh. But so what I had to do was to create different versions. Mm -hmm. So I had to like decide, okay, how does this one hold their face? How does this one hold their body? How do they move? To make them different, how do they speak? You know, a lot of them speak differently. And then when you put the costuming on, you just kind of, after you've been doing it for so long, you just kind of go through the tick list in your mind when you hear cameras rolling, you go, okay, facial expressions, body movement, da 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 and then do. Wow, how exciting. It's really cool. So with 26 different versions of, of that character, is this one of the more complex roles you've played? It's the most complex thing I've ever done, yeah. Wow. It's, it's really, though, a magnificent picture. Like, I can't believe what this has turned into because it's morphed over the years. And We've some actually been built on true science, right? And then some of, also, some of it right? involves true history. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean there's a lot of research put into, you know, Adolf Hitler and World War Two and we even have some World War Two costuming for some of the, the war scenes back then and yeah. and you shot some of the film in Europe. Right? We shot in England. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. All over England too. I mean north, south, you know, Scotland area, you know, Bombrough Castle and yeah. Fascinating. It's fascinating. Do you find your personal life, just how you feel as a personality. Do you feel that affected at all by taking on so many different versions of one character or, or not so much? Do you feel it emotionally? You know, like when you're not on screen? There's two different really good answers to that, so yeah. I'll give you both extremes. Um, one is, is it affects you if you live it yeah. because they're your experiences and right. your, they're your memories. And so when that character gets damaged or when that character has emotional trauma, you're actually experiencing that emotional trauma. Yeah. And so you carry that through your life, you know, but at the same time, it's super cool, mm -hmm. you know? Good question about it, yeah. Yeah, it's super cool. And it, and it does affect your personal life, right. you know, wow. because it takes a few weeks to put, to put the characters down. So what you do is you wake up in the morning and you go to the gym, as you said. And I work with a trainer, Diamond Melody Gym, and um, he's the best. And um, he just kind of, I just go through my routine and then you start to find a little more of yourself as time goes by. Mm -hmm. But those characters are always on tap. If you ever get called to do something similar, you remember everything about wow, them because you live them. So we have to actually yeah. kind of wrap this up, but I, I want to know how can people find you? How can they, you know, stay tuned with everything that you're up to? There's kind of a hub, which is TracyBirdsall.com. Mm -hmm. um, Instagram's TracyBirdsall1. Facebook is TracyBirdsall Official. Pinterest is TracyBirdsall1. Um, Twitter's Tracy Birdsell one. Good. <laughs> you yeah. all. I remember them all. Because there's another Tracy Birdsell out there. And when will Time War be out? I'd say early to mid 2018. Okay, great. There's a lot of special effects, so probably mid. Right. Yeah. I think it's a great time. I think that you're like, we need this. We're, oh we're rooting for mm -hmm. the female divine power to mm -hmm. rise. And Tracy, right here. There's a lot of female <laughs> empowerment right now in film. There really oh, is. And then now is. Linda Hamilton is coming back to the new mm. Terminator. Woo! So, so excited. That is so awesome. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I know, I'm so excited. So thank you so much for all your time and everything. And we just look, I'm going to just keep, I'm like, you're now my mentor. <laughs> I'm going to be watching everything. Thank you. Know, honestly, very inspirational. Thank, thank you, you so much for being here, you guys. So, Thanks for having so me. So stay tuned, you guys. As our last thing, we're going to be doing some giveaways. We're going to have our mosque. Our, Mascot, Zoe, little puppies in the house. Yeah, that's, <laughs> not the <giveaway. laughs> that's not the giveaway. That's not the giveaway, right? That's not the giveaway. We're going to be very not. upset. And we're going to talk about Karma Coin and some doing some good actions, deeds of the day. So stay tuned, you guys. We'll be right back. 
Okay, we are back. Good morning, La La Land. And I'm so excited about this segment. I think this might be my favorite segment in that it really is involving the community. Uh, our fourth segment of the day, we're going to be doing all giveaways and karma coin and puppies for rescue dogs, things like that. So how's it going, you guys? What do you think about our new uh, mascot? Um, I can't say the word. I keep saying it mascot, wrong. Mascot, yeah. Oh, mascot. <laughs> it's okay. I have to say, this puppy love is so good for my heart. I Zoe is so cute. She's a Morky. She's a rescue. And uh, we're so excited to have her on set. Some feel good, positive energy. I don't know if there's anything more positive than puppies. Truly. We so have relaxed. the cutest mascot ever. Zoe she's is adorable. Thing. Yeah. Hi, Zoe. We you so Beautiful. much. Oh my gosh. Okay, so um, we've decided that we are going to be doing some rescue, some puppies. We're going to have them in here. We're also going to keep you guys informed of where you can get involved uh, over the holidays or donating or whatever it is. But this is officially the Focus TV Network uh, mascot. Mas mascot. Honestly, really? <laughs> <laughs> like, what's up, Aaron? So, okay, so we have a couple other things. So we also talked about Karma Coins. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is all about paying it forward. Yeah. So my invitation for all of us today is to do one good deed. Mm. I don't care if it's like for your mom, calling her up, checking in, yeah. cleaning your best friend's house. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to invite everybody out there, including ourselves. Mm -hmm. I have a challenge, so I yes. want to know tomorrow. I want to hear mm -hmm. what it is that you guys did. Oh, what man. are you going to do today? I what don't know. Do, I haven't decided yet. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So we do have one story that came in already from Karma Coin, and I'd like to read it. So it says, uh, I think this is a gentleman. I'm not sure. So he says, so I'm in this parking lot in Ikea, texting on my cell phone and not paying attention to the parking lot. And I bumped into a car with a woman and her son. I jumped out of my car and approached the woman to make sure they were all right. She says they're fine and that she's having a great weekend of baseball. I started to get all my insurance info for her when she says, don't worry about it. Accidents happen. I look down to see some visible damage on her car as a result of my carelessness and try to convince her. And she says, don't even worry about it. She gave me this karma coin and told me, have a great day, pass it on. That's cool. Chills, right? That's so cool. That's so yeah. cool. That is the exact opposite of what happened outside of my apartment <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> what the exact doing? opposite. What happened? <laughs> so there was like the most minor fender bender ever. I'm pretty sure the cars didn't even touch and they were screaming at each other. <laughs> yeah, and then somebody up in the balcony was screaming down. And it just became a whole thing. So that is beautiful. Oh my gosh. It happened in front of my right? apartment building, not so much. <laughs> yeah. You know, LA in general needs to zen out in traffic. I get everybody is <laughs> so stressed out. She's getting away. Oh, she's going to run she's out. out. Everybody is so stressed out. Everybody is in a hurry to get somewhere in LA. I get it. Yeah. I'm the same way. But save your honks, save your beeps yeah. for when they really are yeah. necessary, right. when you really need something. Like, just. To Take avoid danger, breath. right? Yeah. yeah. Pay it forward. So, Let somebody right? in. Wave. You don't need to flip everybody off. Right. You know? <laughs> so if you want a karma coin, you can begin to DM us at the at our Instagram or Facebook. You can uh, write in, and uh, one thing is to share the live stream on your Facebook account, and then number two, you can DM and show that you know do a screen share, whatever it is, and. I haven't even received the coins yet to start giving away, but I'm going to begin to giving them away. So you can share it on Facebook and then DM me and we will get you some coins, okay? And uh, then yes. we have another fun little challenge. Uh-oh. So I was thinking that we should, since we're in the mode of yeah. transformation yeah. and okay. working out and whatever that is. Here it comes. I know. So I was thinking, I, yourself. I was thinking we could be accountability partners for for oh, our absolutely. community. Yeah. How do you guys feel? Do you think you could do something every day, like whether it be walking 20 minutes mm -hmm. or whatever it is for the holidays? I'm in, yeah. I'm yeah? In. yeah? Absolutely. Yeah. I'm going to drive friendly. Okay. Oh, wow. That's I love that, Jen. That's, that's actually a, a big deal. That's you a big maintain deal. Maintain that? Yes. It's a big deal. Yeah. Because over at Beverly Center at mm -hmm. the holidays, it's yeah. incredible the amount of people that are yelling out of yeah, their cars at yeah. people. I'm right? gonna drive friendly. If you see me, I have a little Fiat. It's mm. Pearl. Her name is yeah. Pearl. Very fitting. <laughs> and I just want to wave. I, you know, and I encourage other people in LA who are sitting in traffic to do the same and 
pay it forward, okay, smile, good. wave, mm. throw a peace sign. Just, and that's healthy, right? Not just working out, but staying not stressed out. So yeah, so we're yeah. going to be your accountability partners. Mm -hmm. So check in. You're also welcome to send me any uh, screenshots or pictures of you working out or whatever, and your handle on on Instagram, and we will showcase it on the story of Good Morning La La Land for IG. Okay. Love that. Right. What about yeah. you, Rob? What are you going to do? Oh <laughs> man, I'm going to just continue showing up here. <laughs> no, what will I? Um, that's a great question. I don't know. I have. Um, that's one of the things that I work with my clients a lot on is staying accountable, and I'm their accountability partner. So it's you know it's interesting because you want to hold people accountable, but in a way that's positive, inspiring, mm -hmm. and uh, doesn't make them feel dread and fear, right? So I think that's the best thing about what we're doing here is allowing people to do that through Instagram. Um, but even if you do that in your personal lives, you want to do it in a way that lets people feel excited and inspired. Right. Okay, good. Um, you know. Well, that's express. We have to yeah. go, you guys. This is like ah. the hour went by way too fast. It always blows by. Yeah. So day two of the first uh, Good Morning La La Land. This has been so much fun. And Tracy, oh my gosh, birds all, we love you. You are amazing today, epic woman. Yeah, thank you so and much for having me, Tracy. Hashtag transformation Tuesday, you guys. So may you live healthy, happy, and holy during this holiday season. Wow. It's gonna be a good morning, La La Land. <laughs> Have a great one, you guys.